If you've got stuff like things that move or things that light up, that always adds a little bit of bling factor to your makeup. So I always like makeups that have a little something going on. So what I did originally was I shopped around at the, the neighborhood electronics store and I found an LED that I could light up with a little nickel-sized battery. Let me put my glasses on. I'm not a Terminator. I can't see through things. So this is a, it's called a 2032. CR2032, and that's the, it's an Energizer battery. I got it at my, my local hardware store. You know, they, they come in a sheet of like four or five of them, and they last forever. And the way I tested it to make sure it worked was I simply got an LED and put both surfaces so the LED lights up. So at least you know it works on the LED. There's 12 volt LEDs, and then there's three and a half volt LEDs. So you want to get the lower voltage because you don't want to run a 12 volt line up someone's back and you know blind them because the LED is so bright. And the cool thing about LEDs is, uh, especially online where you have to buy them now, I found this, this whole little box of stuff was like 10 bucks. And they're all like a, 3.2 voltage that runs off of a battery. So I've got tiny ones, I've got yellow, green, white, all kinds of colors. So something like this is, is great if you can find them online, look for them like that. These other little components, I mean, if you're dumb and stupid, you could tape a wire to both sides of this and it would work. But uh, if you can find a little battery containment piece like this, there's like 75 cents at an electronics store. There was a place called All Electronics in LA that just closed, so I went in and bought a whole bunch of stuff. And then uh, you go to your train stores, your hobby stores, anyone that does, deals with model trains, and you can find these great little electronic pieces. They, have, they both have a male and a female on them, so then you can plug in your battery supply separately, right here, plugs in separately, then you have your two loose ends. You can solder this to your, to solder one end to your LED and solder the other end to your battery source. Simple, simple electronics, and believe me, I'm not an electronic whiz. I had to figure this stuff out by trial and error and tape and hot glue and burning my fingers with a soldering gun. So. You know, all you novices out there can struggle like I did and it'll come out fine. And if you're an electronic whiz, I'm sure you can put like multiple lights and on off switches and smoke coming out or whatever else you want to do with it. But essentially, after soldering everything up, I put hot glue around the entire connection to seal it all in. Because you don't want two wires next to each other that might touch and kill your circuit. So once you get everything soldered, just take your hot glue gun and encapsulate the whole thing in hot glue. And that, that makes it solid state. So your, your battery runs out, you can slip it in and out. It's an easy fix. You can run this whole thing down someone's back so the battery can fit in their pocket or on the back of their neck or wherever you want it to be. The next step would be inserting your eyepiece. Now I chose to paint the piece first. I even went as, as far as to put a little red nail polish inside to fill this out, but I do have the lens to put over the whole top to seal the whole thing in when it's all together. That's the classic Terminator lens. This was a, it's a little vacuum form piece that's painted red, you know, with a clear translucent red. So as you see, I have a channel running down the back. The LED that goes into it literally plugs right into this little hole. Now, the way I made the hole was I took a leather punch, and I just punched a hole in it with a leather punch. If you don't have that, you can literally take a scissor and do a, a crisscross slice right through the middle of it, just to allow you to get this LED in through the piece. By pushing it in, it finds its mark, and then you've got this wire sticking out that doesn't really work well in someone's eye behind it. But the cool thing about these is you can take a 90 degree turn on it, and bend it and, and lay it flat under the piece so it protrudes here. If you want to test it, just take your battery and stick between it, make sure it lights up. 
by putting the little lens over the top, it diffuses it a little bit and gives it a little more of a terminator look. Once you get it into position the way you want it, you can get the contour just, just right. It fits perfectly along the sur underneath the surface and then passes through the little slot right there. At this point, you want to remove it and then solder on your wires. And you have you know, a red and a black wire. It's just a soldering trick. It's you know, putting some flux on, soldering the two pieces together, and then you end up with a soldered piece onto your LED. Does it matter which uh, side? No, it doesn't matter. It's just it's this, it's the, at the other end. I've, I've found that out. There is a, a positive negative to the light, but once you solder it, red's going to be red and black. As long as you match up that and the battery's in right, you, you'll be fine. Yeah, that was a big question. I want to solder the wrong way. It's really difficult to solder a, a, a fine, thin wire. And the reason I use a fine, thin wire is for low profile. Once it's in, once it's soldered and in place, then you can reinsert it. Make sure the alignment is properly. You can bend the wires. You can tweak them however you want, as long as it lays and follows the contour of the back side of the piece. Then I just take a little bit of silicone, you know, caulking silicone and just butter a little bit over it just to seal it in and give it a, give it a little time, it'll set stick. There's also a material called Silpoxy. It's quite expensive. I think, you know, caulking silicone is just as good. I just butter it on, hit it with a blow dryer and it sets in about a half an hour and then you can proceed after that. So what you would have is a sealed down silicone piece with your wires extending off with a male or a female plug. I like the I think I like the male plug hanging off so I can plug into it later. So now what we've got, as I've described, I pre-did this so you can see, it's all sealed in. It's not coming loose. My wires protrude through the little groove in the side of the prosthetic and it's, it's ready to go. You add your cap and you've got your completed piece. Always test it. I've got my my battery pack in, I plug, match them up. Now you have, you have light. So that's the piece. And notice how low profile the whole thing is. I even put a little shrink tubing on there that I found, but it's not that necessary. It's such a small wire and it doesn't, it doesn't produce any heat. Um, on the face and it's in place, with my eyes open, I can see a little bit of red light there, but with my eye closed, I see nothing. <laughs>